Hello, my name is Jean Kamvar. I'm the Lesson Infrastructure Developer at The Carpentries. This video is designed to introduce you to what our lesson websites uh, look like on the back end and what will happen to them after we transition to the workbench in May 2023. To start the example, we have a styles-based lesson uh, with its default branch set to GH pages. Uh, this lesson has its episodes in the underscore episodes folder and there is one pull request that we will leave open during the transition to show you what happens to it. And note that this pull request is uh, going into the GH pages branch. At this point, I run the automated transformation of the lesson repository and push it back up to GitHub. Now what you can see is something a bit different. A repository that recently updated to use the beta stage of the workbench can be a, bit, be a bit bewildering if you're used to the styles version. When you visit the GitHub page, you will notice a few things. First, that the default branch is now called main, and the folder structure looks a bit different. You also notice that there are four branches, uh, or there are more branches than you would expect. Uh, so let's take a look at them. When you look at the branches, you'll notice a few things. First of all, the main branch is protected. Uh, this means that you will need to make a pull request before you can push directly to this branch. Um, second of all, you'll notice that there is a legacy GH pages branch. This branch used to be the default branch, but in the workbench, we have renamed it and locked it. It is uh, not possible to edit this branch at all. Um, and moreover, there are two new branches, the GH pages branch, which will serve the website, and then the MD outputs branch. And this uh, is here so that uh, the lesson can store the outputs of uh, the rendered markdown documents for any R markdown uh, source files. Uh, and these two branches are automatically taken care of uh, by GitHub Actions, and you should not have to worry about that. The only branch that you need to worry about is the default branch, which is the main branch. Now that you know what a lesson repository looks like after the transition, we're going to look at what the pull requests look like after the transition. Now, before the second stage of the beta phase, it is important to resolve all of the open pull requests. Remember that it's okay to say no and invite the contributor to open an issue citing the pending transformation of your lesson. Any pull request left open before the transition will now point to the locked legacy branch and must be reopened from a brand new fork in order to be considered. For example, someone suggested a change a week before the transition and none of the maintainers had the capacity to address a pull request. Because of this, the pull request is now in a state where the only path forward is to close it because the base branch of the pull request is locked. And you can see here that it is pointing now to the legacy GH Pages branch. I hope that was informative. And if you have any questions regarding the workbench or the transition to the workbench, or really anything at all, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much. Goodbye.